now like the Republicans are going on the offensive to try to kind of take him out. And when I say Republicans, I'm not talking about your the Republicans you're thinking of. I'm talking about people like Chris Christie saying the reason we are losing is because Donald Trump has put himself before everyone else. Last year, Christie, though, stated that the line of Trump supporters starts behind me. So here's Chris Christie. You know him. You love him. Chris Christie. We keep losing and losing and losing. And the fact of the matter is the reason we're losing is because Donald Trump has put himself before everybody else. And I understand and believe in so many of the policies that were able to be accomplished during those four years. I mourn what more could have been done. And let's remember this. Everything that has happened in the last two years is because we lost that election. Everything that has happened in this country. I mean... Seriously, what a stupid thought. I'll tell you why. It's because Republicans are weak and the only strong voice in the party seems to be DeSantis and Trump. And so if you want to be strong, if you don't necessarily agree with Trump or you want him to be a part of your ticket, you should be going on the offensive and speaking for yourself. Instead of allowing other people to dictate what you talk about or when the corporate media says, uh, you supported Trump. You're like, I'm not here to talk about Trump. I'm here to talk about what I'm going to do for my constituents. And you need to be stronger. But this is what happens when you have a weak party and that only a few strong voices seem loud. Because you're weak. And you rely on other people to actually make actions because you would rather... Uh, just try to stop what the Democrats are doing. We're trying to stop it. We're putting up speed bumps. Ukraine doesn't get $60 billion. Ukraine gets $40 billion. This is a conservative approach.